game kind of an example of the blueprint of what's kind of been laid out by Sutter coming in here? Yeah, I think so. I think that was evident in our last couple of days of practice that um, it's very obvious how he wants us to play. And um, he wants a fast paced game structured. And I think that's what you saw for just about a full 60 minutes tonight. I thought that everybody was confident and 100 percent in what we needed to do on the ice in every shift. No one was hesitating or questioning anything. And um, yeah, it was a lot of fun to play that way. Okay, we'll go to Wes Gilbertson next. Josh, it wasn't too long ago that it felt probably for you like nothing uh, was going to go in again. Can you just describe what it means to to get a couple in, in Daryl's first night behind the bench? You know what? It feels great. Um, I don't think I get those goals without the, the line mates and, and the way we played. Uh, you know, they worked hard, created some turnovers, and, you know, I was just standing in the right spot. And, um, you know what? When you're uh, when you're ready for it, uh, sometimes the puck goes in. So I got to give uh, credit to my line mates. And if I can just ask you one more, could you get a sense? You know, we haven't seen Daryl behind a bench since 2017. Can you get a sense what uh, this win tonight maybe meant to him? Yeah, uh, you know, he's an intense guy, and he uh, he wants us to get out there quick and and, and work hard. So um you know you can you can hear it behind the behind us on the bench and uh, when he comes in uh in the intermission um he, he's ready to go and uh, you know that, that sets us sets us up for the each period okay we'll go to darren haynes josh the the offense is nice but uh it must have felt good to be trusted with those final 40 seconds of a one goal game too yeah i think uh that's what he shows. He wants to play four lines. Uh, <clears throat> the way we play with our uh, our style now is four lines have to go. So, um, you know, when he called on us, we knew we were, we had to be ready and <clears throat> just get the puck out and and uh, just not let them score. Question for uh, Derek: We've heard this concept of protect the middle of the ice. Um, how would you say you did that in that re in that regard tonight? Yeah, Daryl has been pretty clear that he he has a lot of attention and focus on the centermen on the team. He asks a lot out of us, and uh, I think rightfully so. I think a lot of NHL games are dictated from the middle of the ice out. So I think it's important for us to, um, you know, be making the right decisions, whether in the D zone, you're in the right spot, um, even more so throughout the neutral zone. And, and at each blue line, uh, you know, the centermen are kind of the, the keystone there where we usually are carrying the puck and we have to make the right decision, whether it's a, a play to the outside or a play just to get it in deep and, and establish our four checks. So, um, yeah, like I said, he's made it clear that center center men are really important and um, I like it. Thank you. We'll go to Eric Francis. In just the simplest terms, guys, what, what did we see different in terms? I know you've alluded to some of it, but what did we see different in your style of play tonight that was the most uh, significant? Um, I would say intensity. I think right from the get-go, we uh, we got out on them. Um, we knew they had a back-to-back, -back, so uh, that, that was our game plan to get out, get out quick. And uh, you know what? We kept that going in the second and even the third. I think there was a couple shifts there in the third where they kind of got going a bit. But other than that, that was a pretty solid win. And, uh, you know, when you got Marky back there, uh, <clears throat> it gives you a little more comfortability and uh, gives you the confidence to keep playing. Yeah, if you want me to be real specific, I think um, our forecheck was a lot better tonight than it's been in other games previously. I thought that, um, you know, Daryl's made a couple of points on that, and I thought we did a really good job of getting pucks behind their D and, and then being really structured in our forecheck. And I think we gave them a little bit of trouble, um, you know, turning pucks over and spending some time in the ozone that way. And how important is patience in this new system? Yeah, there's some patience, but it's also it demands a lot of hard work. You know, F1 is always, always hunting. He doesn't want guys, you know, sitting back and waiting for them to come at us. He wants to, to go at the other team. So, yeah, I mean, hockey is a game of patience for sure, especially at the NHL level. But I think Daryl is instilling, a, um, you know, the idea of playing hard and fast every, at every moment of every shift.